Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It has been a very long time since we spoke, over a year in fact, but we're back in business. I'm very excited to bring you this fleet of compact computers that we're going to be covering in the next couple of weeks. Spread out over a number of videos where we're going to be doing repairs, getting the machines up and running, doing some diagnostics, creating a little network here covering old MS-DOS and more modern Windows based systems. And overall, just have a nice time with these fine compact machines here. So a lot of exciting stuff to come in 2024. I like to take the opportunity here to wish everybody a happy new year. Great health for you, your friends and your family. So let's get started. And then we're going to be starting with this nice portable or luggable computer here. The Compact Portable 3. A nice little 286 portable computer from Compaq, 640 kilobytes of RAM. It does have a hard drive in it, but it's not working at the moment. So that's definitely something that we're going to be taking a look at. Luckily, we are able to boot the machine with a uh, floppy disk. So it's not really an issue to get into MS-DOS and then load up some software via floppy. But obviously it would be a lot better if we could get the hard drive up and running. But for now, floppy disks it is. It provides us with a nice little way to get some software on the machine. A lovely red amber screen here and block out up and running. Next up is this Compaq Desk Pro 286E. Pretty similar to the luggable we just saw, but this time in desktop format. I had this machine for a while, but I never really looked at it. It does have a similar layout as a 386 that I already covered on the channel, but it still has some issues in the sense that all of a sudden after it's been up and running for a while, it just turns off or reboots by itself. So perhaps a power supply issue, something we need to look at. It did come with a Connor hard drive that I didn't get up and running, similar to the 386 compact that I already covered here on the channel. So yeah, pretty similar machines, but this being a 286 running at 12 megahertz. And here we have some Arkanoid running on the machine. And next up we have its bigger brother, which is the Compaq Desk Pro 386S, a 386 based machine, which all of a sudden started beeping a lot. Not really sure uh, what happened here. Need to do some investigation on that. It has been covered on the channel before. I had to swap out the original Compaq monitor because it was causing a short after it being turned on for a while. So that's a bit of a shame. We're probably going to be reinstalling this machine and see if we can get some kind of networking up and running because as of now it's a pretty bare bones machine with Windows 3.1 installed and obviously it could do with some games, a sound card, some speakers and some network connectivity. As you can see it's also struggling a bit to get Windows loaded here given that it's only got 2 megabytes of RAM. Next up, we have a 486, the Compaq Prolinea 450, featuring a DX250 MHz CPU from Intel. 
Also a machine that I had for a long time. I initially started it up. It did have some hard drive issues, but everything seems to be running fine now. I've cleaned up the machine a little bit and I have a separate video also on it, which will be dropping soon. Next machine is a Pentium based machine with an Intel Pentium 75 megahertz CPU. I have the machine on loan because I did promise somebody to install a sound blaster card on it. But problem is that I made that promise over a year ago. So if you're watching, I have definitely stepped up my game a little bit and we're going to be uh, getting that installed soon. And we're also going to be making a video on it because we have a beefier CPU here and we also have 32 megabytes of RAM, we can make use of Windows 95 on this machine. It's also fully multimedia enabled with a CD-ROM drive and then hopefully the Sound Blaster card. So this will make an excellent Windows 95 gaming rig with the Pentium 75 megahertz CPU. Our second Pentium based compact computer here is this Desk Pro with an Intel Pentium 166 megahertz with MMX enabled. It has already been featured on the channel in a previous video, but I thought it would be a nice addition to put it here with the rest of the compact family. Another Pentium based machine is this compact Presario with this oddly shaped uh, mini tower, uh, fully fledged multimedia uh, machine, as you can see from the compact splash screen here. So I've had this machine for a couple of years now, but I really never did anything with it. So yeah, really excited to have this machine on the table here. And we're definitely going to be having an in-depth look. And we're going to be ending our journey here with another compact desk pro this time featuring a pentium 2 based cpu i also have a compact desk pro pentium 3 based system but unfortunately i don't have any desk space left to put it here so we're definitely going to be looking at it but also it's going to be a separate video so yeah, really excited to show you guys all of these machines, see what we can do with them, create a little network, install some additional software. So yeah, it's gonna be really fun for the next couple of videos. I'm also excited just to have all of these machines up and running at the same time on my desk here. It's going to be uh, quite interesting to see how these systems evolved over time, going from 286 based machines with a very uh, basic MS-DOS uh, gaming all the way up to 386, 486 Pentium based machines. And yeah, it's going to be a really fun journey, I think. So yeah, I hope that everybody will stick around for what's coming up next. We have a lot of exciting stuff to show you. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you like these types of videos. It would really help out the channel. Again, my apologies that it took so long to get back, but we're back in business. We have a lot of stuff to cover in the upcoming videos. So I hope to see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.